Hi and welcome to this DCPY tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change eye colours using GIMP 2.10. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one image which I downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put a link to the same image in the YouTube description. So let's go ahead and open up GIMP software and we'll drag and drop that picture into GIMP and we'll click this button convert. Okay, so we want to create a selection around the left eye and a selection around the right eye. In order to do that, we need to click the free select tool. So hold down your left mouse button here and make sure you click on the free select tool or press the letter F on your keyboard for the shortcut. We want to have this mode selected first and this is replace the current selection, yeah? So let's hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel and then we can hold down the space bar. Uh, we should be able to hold down the space Spacebar, or we can actually move it using this, this uh, tool here to just see this left eye. Let's just zoom in a bit more onto that eye, and we just want to draw a selection around it. So let's start in this top corner and we'll left click around the edge of this eye. And the closer you get, the more accurate you can be with your selection, right? So try and get in quite close, and you can be a bit more accurate with that selection. And uh, across the top, it doesn't really matter too much something like this. So once we've got that selection, we need to hit the enter key. The enter key will confirm that selection. So we hit enter key on our keyboard and then we can move over to the other eye, this on this side, and let's just move it up a little bit. And this time we're going to click this tool here, add to current current selection. So we're gonna click that one and now we can create a whole new selection. So we're gonna left click and we're gonna go around the eyeball again, something like this. and we will just finish off that selection as well so let's just go around the top here and we'll connect it here that confirms that and we'll hit the enter key one more time and if we hold down the control key and zoom back out we can see we've got two separate selections now you can hold down the space bar on the left mouse button to pan your canvas around and normally i just use the uh, click on the move tool when I'm not using any other sort of tool. So just click move tool and that just makes sure you retain your selections there. So we want to copy these now and we need to create a new layer. So first thing we're going to do is create a new layer here on the left bottom left here. We'll click and we'll have it as transparency. So in the drop down, select transparency and click OK. And then we'll click back on this bottom layer and we'll go to edit copy or press Control c or command c on the mac and we're going to go to this top layer where it says bg let's just rename it eyes we'll click here and we'll press Control v or you can go to edit and paste and then we'll click this green anchor icon to anchor this floating selection down right now we can turn off the the picture of the lady behind and we can see we've got the eyes selected only so we can click on this top layer my advice is to right click on it and duplicate it duplicate the layer duplicate it a few times like so you've got three copies you can hide these ones because these are just like copies that we can do other work to if we want to layer but let's click on the top one and remember this contains only the eyes now but they're overlaid so it all looks correct right so we'll click on the top layer here we'll go to the um Let's go to the um, colors and we'll go to hue and saturation here. So when we click on hue and saturation, we've got a few different tools in here. We've got the hue color here. So now we can drag the handle and we can change it to a different color like this, right? We can just drag this handle, play around with the, um, the colors in here. I think there might be some presets in here, like last ones that you used previously. Um, but for now, we can just drag the handle. Let's try and find a nice color like this purple or something like this. And you can change the lightness so you can darken it down you can brighten it up but don't go too far and it's worth probably um, just holding down the control key and zooming out so you can see the image at a bit of distance you can kind of judge the eye color a bit better from a bit of distance so you can lighten it or darken it obviously too light is going to not look right so we want it to be around here i think this is look pretty good and you can change the saturation you can grayscale it or you can bring the saturation all the way up to give it more brightness and then just use the hue here to change the color. So you can make it blue, you can make it all sorts of colors. We can even go kind of like a, a red color and or like a hazel sort of red color and that will match the lipstick, something similar to that. I think we're gonna to go to the opposite end and we're gonna do something uh, quite dramatic. Maybe like a purple I think will look pretty good, right? Hold down the control key, you can zoom in and you can see that 
eye color change once you're happy with that click ok the reason why we copied some extra layers is we can hide this one and we can enable the one below and then we can click on this one we could even almost call this like eye eyes purple I right, can give it and give that label a name and we turn it on and off they're purple right you can click on the bottom one down here and we can go back to our color we can go back to um, uh, the hue and saturation and we can change this one independently from the layer above so we can change the hue maybe we'll go for blue this time and then we can increase the lightness not too much maybe about this much and increase the saturation a bit to something like this and we can click OK and now we've got a blue color so we can just call this eyes blue uh, let's call it blue and then you can retain your layer here and this is like your default copy think about this like the master copy so you can just right click and duplicate and make more colors and you can experiment right you could in theory just to have a little bit of fun we could take this top layer we could duplicate it so let's just duplicate the top one and we could duplicate this blue eyes as well let's just duplicate that one as well and we could drag this one to the top so now we've got a copy of the purple and the blue sitting here we could hide these two layers we can click on the purple one and then go to the eraser and this should be fine this size and we could erase one of the eye colors right and now we've got a blue one on this side and a purple one on this side for example right so we hide it we've got two blue ones underneath but because this layer sits on top we can retain the purple one on this side and then you've got two different colors for example so that's just uh, a little bit crazy isn't it so i think I like the the purple one the most you could do that same logic you could apply that same logic to the lipstick for example so let's try and do that as well let's go ahead and um, click on this bottom layer and we'll make a set selection of the lips and then we can maybe try and change that color this is kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial but let's give it a go uh, it's not going to hurt so we can go back to our free select tool and we can zoom right in you can hold down you should be able to hold down the space bar but that doesn't seem to work when you've got that tool selected so we can just use these um these handles here to, to move it right so we can start over here and this one will take a little bit longer to select but you want to be quite accurate with this because uh, we want to try and get you know change as much of this red color as possible and again we'll need to do two different selections so let's just try and do this uh, and see how it works yeah now you can hold down the space bar and you can move the canvas after you've made that first click the very first click after you've done that then you can go ahead and um, move the uh, use the space bar to move it so we have to be a bit careful here because if we go all the way around the top and around the top edge we're going to end up like changing possibly the color of the teeth and stuff like that we don't really want to do that and so we're going to come across here and we're going to do two independent selections so that we can change just the lip color rather than also changing the teeth as well we don't want purple teeth right so So we can kind of consider that to be one selection hit the enter key and then we can start a new selection over here so we can start roughly at the same point again and we can go around the top this time and that will be its own selection right so remember to hit the enter key after you complete the first selection and that will allow you to start the second selection but you need to make sure this middle tool this one here is selected that allows you to create two independent selections you can create 10 selections if you wanted to in theory we could have selected the eyes and the lips all at the same time um, could have done it that way as well but this way is perfectly fine too because we can now control the eye colors and the lip colors independently which I think um, would make sense right so let's just continue to do this selection and then uh, we should be done pretty soon and this is not the most accurate selection I'll be honest with you I could do better but we don't want to spend uh, hours doing this. You get the gist of it. 
and once you understand the concept you can spend that finite amount of time you should really like you can zoom in pretty close so you can get a better selection around here All right you could use um the uh the pen tool here as well right the path tool to do a similar thing um and use that for the selection because then you can draw rounded edges with the path tool well, I don't think you can do that with the free select tool so easily. So yeah, you can use the free select tool. This is a good example of using the free select tool anyway. So let's uh, let's use that as an example. And then we just want to join it down here, right? So let's just go across the top here and then connect it here. And we'll hit the enter key again. So now we have the lips selected separately away from the eyes. And remember, we have to be a bit smart here. So we're going to go to edit, copy. We're going to create a new layer. Let's create a new layer. And um, it's going to be a transparent one. We'll click OK. And then we'll press Control V to paste. Or you can just go to edit, paste. And then we'll anchor this down to the floating, right, the layer down. Now we have um, the lips independently selected, right? It's not the best selection. I think we could have done a bit better. But we'll get the understanding of it. Then we can call this lips and we can right click on it duplicate it a couple of times so we retain some copies that we can do things to later and we can probably uh, let's drag this one to the top let's drag this one underneath and then we can drag this lips right here and we'll click on that one we'll go back to our color let's go to hue and saturation and let's see now we can change the lip color to maybe like something like this that looks a bit stupid doesn't it so let's um let's see maybe we need to lighten it a bit and bring down the saturation right it's too much the saturation is too high and it looks a bit comical so we bring down the saturation maybe purple isn't the best color so let's see So that would be close to the original. Let's say something like this looks that's kind of like the hair color, right? Remember it was red before, now it's kind of like a brown color. That looks pretty good, right? So we can turn that off and you can see the original and now you can see like the, the saturation or the lips change color based on that selection. We could have done a better selection here with those lips, if you zoom right in, um, use the move tool, let's hold down the space bar. You can see around the edge here, we've got done a bit of a better selection, but in general, you could go in for, you could go back in and use the eraser tool or use the hill tool to, to tidy that up a little bit. But from a distance, you know, if the picture is looking like this, you're not really gonna notice it. So if you zoom in very, very close, that you're gonna notice something like that. So I'm gonna leave the picture like this. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go to file, save as, and we want to save it as a GIMP file. So let's go to my desktop. We're going to this folder. Let's just call this um, change eye color. And we'll save this. Let's export it as a file. Let's go to file, export as, and we'll go to our selection. Let's go to JPEG file, which should be good enough. Uh, where's JPEG? Here it is, and we'll click export, and we'll just leave it at hundred. We'll leave it at ninety percent compression. Should be fine, and then we can close this. We can close down GIMP, and then in our folder we have uh, the new image, and we have the original image, and now you can see the difference between them. Right. So obviously the eyes look a bit more different, but I think the lips actually match the hair color quite well right so that's kind of an example of, of doing selections and you can select loads of different things in theory you could have gone and selected all of the hair you could have changed the hair color uh, you could select just underneath this neck all around this part here you could change that color too you can even do a selection on the skin and change some of the skin color as well you can do lots of different things using this technique and it doesn't have to apply only to uh, people's faces it could be fruit it could be anything that you completely anything that you want as long as you do your selection accurately you should be good to go okay let's go ahead and close this 
that's a quick tutorial showing you how to use the free select tool more than anything but also how to change the eye color within a photograph okay hopefully you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 700 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial